There are many different realms within this world. The one which you all know is the human realm. There is also the demon realm. Now the, the human realm is like light. The sun shines through the day, and you know it will always return after the night. However, the demon realm, the demon realm is pure darkness. It feeds upon pain and anger. But there is also another realm, a realm in between realms. It is neither light nor darkness. And it neither exists nor doesn't exist. It just simply is. And this story is about all three realms. But more importantly, it's about a demon. A demon named Bay, a white snake demon. She dreamed of becoming a goddess, of being an immortal. And so she transformed herself into a human, so that when she died, she would rise to the Holy Land. Her time in the human realm was an enjoyable one. How could it not be? Everywhere she went, she was praised for her beauty. But one day, she met a sorcerer named Fahi. So Fahi went to see her beauty. And sure enough, when he got there, beauty was what he found. Her long black hair flowed down her back and shined like the richest of silks. And her full lips and rosy cheeks stood out against her pale white skin. But yet, her eyes gave her away. Up close, they were like a gateway. A gateway to the demon realm that hid behind her soft lashes. But still, when he got there, he said that he wanted to take her somewhere. Now, she was naive. She had become accustomed to men of all ages, wanting to shower her with gifts. And so when this plump, weak old man came to her and said this, she went willingly. She was led to an empty field. The next thing she knew, for he had turned and threw her against the wall. Now, they may have been naive, but nevertheless, she was a demon. And so in one swift move, she was up. And the next thing for he knew, he was on the ground bleeding. And they knew that she should end the sorcerer. But she also knew that it would thwart her chance of becoming an immortal. And so she fled. She fled to the realm in between realms. Her new plan was that she would earn her place in the heavens by doing good deeds. First, she heated the land. It was going cold and people were dying. But this didn't work. She heated the land so much that the people began to burn and the crops burst into deadly flames. Her next plan was that she would make it rain upon a town that was suffering from a drought. And so, sure enough, it rained. But she was too powerful. And a violent flood surged through the town, engulfing everyone and everything in its path. She was distraught, for now she would not become an immortal that way. But there was one other way. One other way that was murmured about and whispered about within the realms. It was said that if a demon and a human mated, and the child loved the demon as one of their own, then forever that demon would become a human, and then rise to the Holy Land when they died. And so, they brought a scholar, a scholar named Ju, into the realm between realms, and there she used her power to make him fall in love with her. Now together they travelled back to the human realm, where they were wed, and sure enough, they were soon with child. Now, the time together in the human realm was an enjoyable one, and yes, they were happy, but all was not as it seemed. The Duan Yu festival was coming up. On the fifth day of the fifth month, there was a festival, and upon this day, every demon, whether in human form or animal form, would revert back to their original forms. And so Bay was fearful. She had wanted this for so long. She finally had got where she wanted. But yet, she knew that nothing would matter now. And sure enough, that day came. One moment she was standing there, next to you, her husband, her loving husband. And the next thing, she watched as her skin began to peel, as this snake tried to claw its way out. It stretched, enormous, white, shining, glistening, scales everywhere, fangs protruding from its mouth, venom dripping off them, from one end of the house to the other. He was terrified, petrified. What happened to his wife? What had happened to his unborn child? In fact, he was so terrified that he died. He died of fright. Now when the end of the day came, 
they transformed back into her human self again. She couldn't believe it. All this time, it had started off as just a plan, a way for her to become an immortal. But now she realised that after all this time, she had fallen in love with Jim. She couldn't go on living knowing that he was dead, especially because of her. And so she knew that she had to find a way, any way, to bring him back to life. She travelled through the realms, first in the human realm, looking through medicine stores, and yet nothing. There was nothing there. So she travelled to the realm in between realms. Then her problem there was that nothing exists in that realm. And so she travelled back to the demon realm, the realm which she had sworn to herself she would never return to. But she knew that it was there that she would find her solution. So she travelled and travelled, and eventually she found a well. Now, as I've said, the demon realm was pure darkness. However, this well, it was like light seemed to pour out of it, and the darkness seemed to try to seep into it, and yet they never touched. Bay walked up to the well and looked down, and there she saw tiny, tiny beam of light. So, she got out a flask and she filled it with this water. This was her only hope. And then she travelled back to the human realm. Now, once she was there, she went back to her house. Sure enough, she's body was still on the floor. Cold and stiff. She tilted up his head and poured the liquid into his mouth. She watched as it dripped down his throat. And she waited, and waited, and just when she thought that it wouldn't work, he breathed, just once, but nevertheless he breathed. So she sat there and waited again, and then another breath, and another, and then another. She was ecstatic, it had worked, he was alive. And sure enough, after he eventually came round, they talked about her ancestry, her history, and in the end, she decided that it didn't matter so much. They'd been together for many years, and they loved each other. And so, not very long after this, Bay gave birth. She gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Nothing could be happier. Bay, had been, Bay was happier than she had ever been in her entire life. She thought that nothing could go wrong. Then, well, he showed up. He showed up, and whilst Babe was weak, he trapped her. He trapped her in the Laything Pagoda. And forever, she would lie there, knowing that somewhere in that realm there was her husband, her child, who loved her. But she could never be with him. But most importantly, she would never, ever become an immortal.